welcome to The Good Life, the City of Bryan's monthly reminder of the great things happening in Bryan. Following the retirement of Chief McGregor, the City of Bryan conducted a nationwide search for a new fire chief and soon received 44 qualified applicants. Because of his safety first approach and broad experience, Richard Giusti was unanimously selected to lead the Bryan Fire Department. Uh, my name is Richard Giusti. I'm the fire chief of the city of Bryan. You know, I was looking into to maybe becoming a fire chief, and then when the position of Bryan came open, started taking a look at everything. Number one, the fire department as a whole to see uh, what they've done uh, as a department, and they're very progressive. So that was very impressive. Uh, and then I started taking a look at the city as a whole and how, uh, like downtown's been really you know, rejuvenated the whole city, the different things that have happened. And so uh, it was, you know, the more we, we took a look into it and did more investigating into it and researching, the more we liked it. You know, I, I have four priorities that are very simple and I want to make sure everyone knows those and we can recite those. Which, which is one, we have a round trip ticket for all of our firefighters to make sure that we do what we do and make sure they go home to their families every shift, okay? Number two, we do the best job we can for the citizens, keep them safe, provide the best customer service. Uh, number three is to make sure that we're training uh, to, to make sure that we do provide that round trip ticket and provide the best customer service. And then last part of this is that we have to reassess. Uh, it's very easy for organizations to get complacent, which is why we always have to reassess and see where we are, where we're at. And so that's one of the things that you know I really look forward to to doing with this department. It is very exciting. I, I can tell you that from everyone from our line personnel to the people I work with every day at the fire department to working with Chief Buskey and his people has been really great too, but also working with our finance people here with Will Smith, with our, our deputy city managers, with our city manager. And uh, I have had nothing but support from them as well as from council for anything that, you know, that we may need. To have that much support for public safety in a community, that's just exciting to me. So, to me, it's the whole thing. Not just one aspect of it, but all of it in, in, in its entirety. On April 7th, Big Shots Golf Aguiland broke ground on their new 40,000 square foot facility at Midtown Park. This new attraction provides residents and visitors with a world-class sports entertainment experience as well as quality food, drinks, and family fun. Big Shots Aguiland is expected to open in late 2021. The City of Bryan was recently named a 2020 Tree City USA by the Arbor Day Foundation in honor of its commitment to effective urban forest management. This is the 32nd year Bryan has received this honor. One of Bryan's most visible capital improvement program projects in Northern Bryan is complete. Woodville Road from Old Hearn Road to the bridge at South Highway 6 has been completely reconstructed, allowing for better traffic flow, pedestrian access, and improved sewers. Future plans along the roadway call for improvements to eventually extend to Texas Avenue. On Wednesdays in June, bring your lunch or grab some at a nearby restaurant and come sit outdoors at the Palace Theater to learn something new from expert presenters. Bryan Parks and Recreation is hosting four Lunch and Learns from noon to 1 p.m. at the Palace Theater in downtown Bryan on June 2nd, 9th, 16th, and the 23rd. For more information, call 979-209-5528. Due to a shortage of lifeguards, the City of Bryan's three outdoor pools will have a modified schedule for recreational swimming until further notice. The pools will be open for recreational swimming beginning Monday, May 31st, according to the following schedule. St. Thomas Pool will be open on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from noon to 5 p.m. Henderson Harbor will be open on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1 to 7 p.m. And the Bryan Aquatic Center will be open on Saturdays and Sundays from 1 to 7 p.m. To find out more information about Bryan's pools or how you could become a lifeguard, visit bryantx.gov. You might have noticed a recent increase in the number of local events here in Bryan. 
Here's Abigail from Destination Brian to tell us more about the impact they have on our local businesses. Over the past few months, Brian has seen over 30 events and activities in our community. With more activity going on throughout our beloved town, many of our locally owned businesses have seen some of their best day in sales in well over a year. Events are not the only thing that has been picking up, but we have also seen the return of many sporting tournaments, conferences, and other meetings. Just in the month of June, Destination Bryant is estimating over 5,000 attendees and spectators to come to our community for sporting events and meetings, such as high school basketball tournaments and the 4-H Roundup. These groups are a welcome site for our hotels, restaurants, shops, and attractions, and bring an economic impact of thousands of dollars to Bryan. For more information about events, things to do, and new businesses, visit DestinationBryan.com.